Hello everyone, we are here playing as HB Engine in the future, up against Adam. Uh, this is a deck that won a store championship in Leuven, in Belgium. Uh, my opponent's deck, Lodger, is playing a casual deck, Terminal Directive Cards. Uh, sure, why not? So we just have a Most Wanted list out, uh, which we're playing with. Uh, they are playing Terminal Directive Cards, so be interesting to see into the future. But if you want to avoid spoilers, obviously uh, don't watch too carefully. Or don't watch at all. Um, opening hand is okay-ish. Uh, I would prefer different ice and things like that, but we'll see. Um, they can try. Well, they can click through Fairchild, running first click, and all that. Uh, they'd have to try to on this, and we'll see. Any PD, not great. So let's just put this in new mode. Uh, put Adonis in behind it, and put Ravana on or and uh, If they run HQ, not much we can do about it. But we'll see what they've got in store. Uh, so gamble first. Oh yeah, of course they don't. Not playing always. Always be running. So they are playing safety first. So reduce hand size. They're playing neutralize all threats. So they'll access an extra card from HQ, which might be NAPD. And see, indeed it is. And find the truth. So they'll see if orangey is worth a poke as well. Uh, okay, so they're just going to check out what the full hand is. And that's fine. At least orangey isn't that profitable. And brain chip coming down. Nice. So good start for them. Uh, we got a money up at the start. Uh, Architect's good on HQ. We do need another Byroid for R&D, because Ravana's not going to do much on its own. But at least we find the truth. They may not... I mean, they could run Archives if they really wanted to, but they might leave it off for a moment. Dirty Laundry, Archive. Oh, yeah. That makes it worthwhile. So I'm curious to see what Terminal Directive gives Adam. I have looked at spoilers, but then again, I've also looked at all the other pack previews. So... I've kind of blended it all into one. Be curious to see what they've got in store. Hopefully we get to see some bits and pieces. Well, that's assuming you don't mind spoilers. Uh, for ourselves, we are playing a pretty standard HP deck. It's back to the good old days with Caprice. Just the one-off. Uh, Friends in High Places because it's an amazing card. I'm kind of surprised it's not on the most wanted list. Kind of would have liked it to be. Uh, Ash and the good old suite of agendas as well. Now you could save some influence with NAPD and put it into Caprice instead. Uh, but we'll see how it all works out for us. Uh, so we can put that on Archives if we want. Eli is good on R&D, I think. And now we get our Breaker Bay. So we'll slowly get ourselves set up. Eli would be good over here as well, but we do need Ravana to do something. At least this way, if they check out Archives, uh, they're kind of running into a brick wall here. At least until they find some breakers and bits and pieces. Money and up and system seizure. Nice. Okay, so some neat cards coming out. What else we got? Dean. Hmm. So they're going to make one super breaker and be able to run through pretty much everything so that's kind of cool so overmind possibly or faust uh, both good options with this um Turing on this is decent let's see if we can find anything else we're gonna have to stack things high it seems uh sherlock's all right as well i think for the moment we put Turing on the remote because it's it's classic and we'll put Vanilla on Archives just to prevent the the easy runs. If they want a Dirty Laundry, at least they'll have to double-click through. Still doable, but at least it's a bit of a roadblock in their way. So more memory and link. I'm going to assume it's Overmind. Uh, Adam is typically Overmind. And that seems pretty great. Yep, there it is. Six counters. So if we can get stuff before they find E3, that would be quite beneficial. Uh, let's draw. 
Caprice is good. Put that into server one and put this in server one. We can use it to get Caprice out of HQ and over here, which seems decent. At least they might not check it out for a little while. The supplier. So supplier has arrived a little later than they'd like, uh, but it's still good. Plasquite. Interesting. But unnecessary, and we are not finding what we need. Uh, Jackson might be worthwhile to put down. We could also put down more ice somewhere. But I think Jackson is a good call. At least we might force him to a run here. Not sure if that's what we want. Uh, but we'll see. That's cool. I like this uh, little combination they've got going on. But at the moment, struggling for money. And we find Ash. <laughs> so we've found our defensive upgrades, which is fantastic, but we cannot find an agenda to save our lives. There's one. Uh, so we could try and slam this into the server. They're quite poor. But we have to get rid of Jackson as well. I think we just put Ash in there instead. And may regret that. We get rid of... Wall of Static. Uh, Eli. A lot of good cards going in the bin. And... Eli. Mm. Maybe friends. No, friends gives us options. Uh, but unfortunately, HQ becomes a good place to hit now. Because we've drawn up a lot. Hmm. I'm not expecting that. Hopefully, biotic. Oh well. Well, it was going to happen. Uh, so we'll shuffle. Send back um, some ice, some ice, and break our bay. We can friends everything else. Let's do this into server one with all our defense upgrades. Uh, this, and we'll put Sherlock up there as well because it's big and beefy. So, councilman. Uh, we're going to res everything as a result, because we see this. So find the truth can really hurt you. And that's why you keep a close eye on the log as well. Freedom of River Quality. So some good draws from them. Deep data mining. This is new, right? Ooh, nice, I like it. So they'll see four cards essentially on R&D uh, just by playing this. Not bad. So we'll score this out, and I don't think we fire because there's nothing but agendas coming, really. Oh, we should have break our bait, of course. But in our impetuous to res these, uh, we forgot about it. So yeah, we should have rezzed to save ourselves four credits. Uh, hopefully that won't come back to bite us. And we won't fire. So we get rid of our current as well before they were able to put a push on. That works for me. Obviously Councilman <laughs> would have ruined everything there. So that was important for us. Next turn, advanced assembly lines and agenda seems like a good plan. So our councilman comes down. Uh, getting that with advanced assembly lines would be hilarious because we get to res it. Uh, if they don't trash it, we get to res it again. That'd be wonderful. So we'll give them that option. A little surprised they didn't go for councilman immediately, just in case we got... Uh, beta test 
and Jackson Down or something like that. And always be running it coming as well. So the rig is assembled. And a lot of things we've got to keep a close eye on. R&D could be, could be dicey. We need to find our Christian grid sooner rather than later as well. Uh, I think we can draw one. Hey, look what happened. Uh, pop this down and pop this into server one. So now at least we turn off that run event that we saw them draw, the deep data mining. We got a pretty safe server over here. Like, these two pieces alone are going to cost them all their overmine tokens. Freedom. And here comes deep data mining. So, we kind of expected this to happen. Uh, which is why we got the Chrisium down. So Overmind is just going to be a matter of tokens. Dean is... End of the run. Okay. And we will raise Chrisium. Which will shut off this. So that was very important. Great timing. Very much appreciate that it arrived in time. Uh, yes, it is. So freedom isn't, but deep data mining is. Not a success. Hmm? If successful. Yeah. So very important for us to raise the And very good timing. Cost them three credits, possibly six. Possibly get to switch this off completely. So that works out okay. As long as they don't hit something here. And they don't have the money to trash Chrisium either, so it's going to stick around a while. And we're possibly finding an NAPD. Now, money-wise, we're not in a great position. Wow, biometric spoofing. So we're showing off lots of terminal directive cards here. Uh, some that aren't going to be too necessary. I don't imagine we're going to be giving damage. Um, yeah. Nope, just an enigma. Alrighty, well, we'll switch off Freedom and try to money up once again. So now is a good time to actually attack this server. We don't have a lot of money to defend it. Uh, we can play Psy Games, and Ash will kind of protect itself, but... Hmm. Ah, so that, uh, that one R&D run kind of killed everything. There was a lot went into the... The push with Overmind, uh, four tokens, used Dean, had the current, then the run event, which Chrisium arrived just in time to stuff. But fair play, they're going to play. It's not over till it's over. So we'll see. There, there. Finally, E3 arrives. That took a lot longer than they'd like. They're a little on the poor side. And Dirty Laundry coming in. Uh, cost us four. Yeah, we can fire this. They cannot boost significantly. So we get to look at the top five. Uh, we could stick a beta test in, but we're... Pretty poor, and uh, it doesn't do much for us. They still have three clicks. I think we go Adonis instead. Into server one. And let's take a look at what we got here. Could do another Adonis. 
or advanced assembly lines is always good into a new remote and we've broken the system <laughs> There we go. Phew. So sometimes when you disconnect during a run or during menus, it can cause all sorts of issues. Oh, they got advanced to the assembly lines, but Jackson survives. And they get their dirty laundry as well. So they are in a rough spot, but they do have a little bit of time. Uh, we can get a, let Adonis tick away. We do have global food coming up soon. Um, so it's basically just waiting until that arrives. Money up. So they can de-rise with councilmen, which they might as well. But then they'd have to trash councilmen. Uh, so we'll get Adonis up, which is unlikely they're going to pay for. And we will begin our turn. So another breaker bay arrives, which we can put on a new server. We can put Enigma on... R&D seems wise because, yeah, we got some good things coming. And we can friends to get another Adonis back, plus the other advanced assembly lines. Adonis on to server 3. And advanced assembly lines into a new remote. So good old Glacier coming back, and I don't think that's Adam's most favorable matchup. So let's res this. They can do res with Councilman if they like, but it doesn't impact us too much at the moment. And then we will res and res just for money. So we're going to draw into our beta test, which we can pretty much just hold in HQ, I think. We'll just wait for the global food to come down and rock on like that. So let's begin. So there's a beta test, which means the global food is next. And I think we just money up here. Uh, actually, let's install this on server one. If they do run HQ, that's fair enough, they're going to get the beta test and Jackson. Uh, but we're ready for food. They'll see the food, but I don't think they can get in here. So they run here, they'll have to spend a token and a credit. Run here, token credit, click credit, click credit. It's a bit dicey, but I think they're leaving it off. So as long as now we don't see the black file, we should be okay. So Adonis has served its purpose. We'll slam this in. Install advance advance. And we should be good to go. So the Chrysium is the MVP of this game. Arrived just in the next time. Uh, Find the Truth also helped us because we saw they had Councilmen, which got us our defensive upgrades up and running. Because uh, otherwise we would have been a bit, a bit screwed. And we shall close this out. Advance, 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 and score out the food. So some cool 
uh, terminal directive stuff arriving. Got to see glimpses of it, but again, as I said, Chrysium just stuffed it. And the rest of our deck was looking pretty safe. Uh, just the one biotic in this deck, which is a bit weird, I think. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, once the deep deep mining uh, whiffed, it was over. Yeah, unfortunately so, but uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching. And new world, new meta. Most wanted list. Woo! <laughs>